Okay, since My Hero Academia season four ended, I just wanted to talk about a character that from like the beginning, I actually fell in love with. And one thing I must say about My Hero Academia, they have a lot of lovable characters. But the one we're gonna be talking about today and discussing is no other than my boy, Hawks. So Hawks is a character that I would like to say is very mysterious. I would like to call Hawks the Itachi of the My Hero Academia world. And you can just tell by his demeanor and the way that he acts that he's actually hiding a lot. And especially what took place in the final few episodes of My Hero Academia season four. And let me tell you, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of Hawks going into season five. Season five of My Hero Academia is actually gonna be off the charts. If you guys are fans of it now, yo, you guys are about to turn up when we get to season five. And one thing I want to do is go over his backstory a little bit. And he is actually a character that is similar to Itachi in a way, because he started at a very young age and his whole thing is about speed and moving as fast as possible. And that's exactly what he did by climbing the ranks and becoming as successful as he is now, just like Itachi. So he's one of the select few heroes that is popular and got on the charts without going to UA. That's right, Hawks didn't go to UA. Hawks was actually scouted by the Hero Public Safety Agency, I think that's how you say it, at a very young age because of a feat that he had in saving, I think it was eight people from a high speed crash at such a young age. I think he was like eight or five when he did this. And since he got scouted from there, we should already know that he is really special. And then they trained Hawks to become essentially like a member of the Ambu Black Ops, someone who is a spy, someone who can get all the intel, someone who can, you know, fit into any situation. And then after Hawks is training and going through that agency, he actually started his own hero agency at the age of 18. And by the age of 20, he was already on the billboards for the top 10 pro heroes. And just because you're on the charts for being one of the best heroes doesn't all equate to strength. We can see that in Hawks. He says he's not the strongest when it comes to fighting, but by the age of 21, he was in the top three. Strength has to fit in there at some point. And now in the current story where we are right now, he is actually the number two pro hero right behind Endeavor. And I would say right there, that's a feat in itself to be right behind Endeavor, someone who's so strong and has all this merit when it comes to what he can do as a hero. That's a major feat right there. And one thing about Hawks' character, it's actually inspired by Leo Messi. You guys all know him, the soccer player. Leo Messi was actually scouted the same way Hawks was. When Leo Messi was young, they saw this huge soccer potential in him. And Barcelona said, if you come to Spain, we'll give you everything you want. We'll pay for your treatment because I think at that time, Leo was actually sick. And Barcelona said, if you come to Spain, we'll pay for all your treatment and you'll be living a life. And now look at him. He's one of the most successful athletes in the world. And the same thing happened with Hawks. Hawks was told at a young age that if he comes over to the hero agency, they'll take him out of the slums because at this time Hawks was in the slums and that they will give Hawks' family anything that they want. They will be living luxury. And I did hear somewhere that Hirokoshi did take inspiration from that. And that's where Hawks and Leo actually share similarities. So now one thing, I wanna keep this as spoiler free as possible. Like I'll drop key stuff there, but it's not really gonna be major spoilers. Maybe in the future when we get to season five, I'll actually do another Hawk video. But I know what you guys are all thinking. Let's talk about Hawks' quirk for a second. So I think the name for Hawks' quirk is actually called Fierce Wings. Basically what Hawks' quirk is doing is he can control each feather individually. And I think this is crazy cool for Hawks' power because he has these hundreds of feathers which he can move independently. So the control that it must have taken to master this quirk must have been insane. I don't know what type of training he went through. And Hawks can do a lot of things with his feathers. They're very versatile. He can save people with them and he can also use them to attack and assassinate people. These feathers are as sharp as knives and Hawks has hundreds of them. But there is one downside. These feathers can get burned away and destroyed. And if they do, Hawks can't fly anymore and it usually takes two days for all his feathers to recover. And on top of that, Hawks' feathers can also be used as a support item for other heroes, just like we saw in the fight versus Hood and Endeavor. So I'm currently caught up on the manga and Hawks has become one of my favorite characters. And the stuff he does in the manga, I wish I could say it all here, but I'm really gonna keep it spoiler free just because we've just been introduced to him. And I just want to give you guys a little bit about my thoughts on the character and who Hawks is. But 
If you guys want to see another video like this, but I touch upon Hawks in the manga, let me know and I can do that for you guys. And for those of you who don't read the My Hero manga, you should actually really check it out because it is amazing. We get a lot of amazing character development and I just think overall My Hero Academia is one of the best shonen series that is out right now and the development we're getting is just crazy. But that's pretty much all I have for today. This was a video on Hawks. I just want to keep it a little brief. I wanted to give you guys information about Hawks without spoiling it all and my thoughts on the character. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos about me talking about characters, let me know. And I can do more in-depth discussions about the character, but those will have spoilers in it. So let me know if you guys want to see that too. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. With all that being said, I want you guys to have an amazing day and peace.